Welcome back, guys, to Grandia 2. Our last episode was staying the night trapped within Marimu Village. Our party minus Elena were visited by nightmares given by some spying eyeball monsters, leading to a chase after them into a mysterious fissure that ended in us finding another broken seal of Granus. After defeating the eyeball bats, realizing they were just minions of a piece of Valma, we wonder where it is. Is this too the work of Valma? As the seal of Granos is broken, I'm afraid that it is so. Elena, how's Arena doing? Not well. She will not wake at all. Just like Nicholas. Roan, how are the villagers? A few more people fell ill last night. And everyone who did not fall ill, they had nightmares again. They're not the only ones. I've been having nightmares of my, uh, the past. It's not cool. Not too cool, man. Not at all. I had one too. I saw my mother die. I dreamt of my village of the demon man who came in blood and fire. I dreamt of ruin. I slept soundly. Last night I dreamt not at all. There must be someone possessed by Valma. The one controlling the flying eyeballs. Do you think it's Ira? That cannot be. She is such an innocent girl, right? Only the hearts of the wicked are open to Valma. That girl has done nothing wrong. High Priestess Selene is conducting an investigation, so she has ordered everyone to meet in the town hall. We ought to inform the High Priestess of the events of yesterday. The villain is not of this village, not even a person. Let's go, Ryudo! Yeah, before Selene decides to frame someone. By the way, the best bit about loud noises in games is the fact that I hear things. <laughs> I had to turn this game down volume-wise because it's really on the high side to make, you know, make myself somewhat audible during battle, uh, etc. I get it at full volume. That's why I went... <laughs> because the game sound is very loud. 100% volume, I get it at. Most modern games you'd have to turn down at all, really. At all. But old games... Their volume's always been on the high side. Anyway, we did get a new skill book. So let's check that out. I have to get a parrot first, don't I? So the Book of Warriors. So this has maximum HP up, vitality, agility, up chances of evading enemy attacks, and slows reduction in IP. Now, first of all, before we do anything, let's go by this. Up chances to get items after combat. The Pirate's Ring. I will put all my points into there first. You know what? I'll put one into there because it's nearly maxed out. And we'll have to equip that ASAP. In terms of magic points, we got another 1,000 coins there. Just wondering if there's any more spells I can unlock. Diggins at max. that actually upgrades the power of that spell more or less just the cast time but those are your two offensive ones so I'll do those as for you stram freeze when you maxed out burn and burn flame burn strikes a higher tier of course Continue to get zap up a little bit more. We can now get howl slash attack with sharp wind blades, so we'll take that. Anything else I should get? I mean, leveling up snooze would probably be a good idea, considering we have been using it to control enemies a little bit. I don't think that's a terrible idea. I don't know if we got any more equipment or anything, but uh looking too bad. We could actually buy some more weaponry and stuff, but I think we'll leave for now. Everyone's doing okay damage. You want us to meet at the town hall? I take it this is the town hall. But can I get in here? Okay, I can go back to Sandra's house. But Irina's... Uh, Ira's gone. Excuse me, have you seen Ira? What is the matter? I let her out of my sight for a second and now I can't find her anywhere. Oh dear, I just know her disappearing at a time like this is bound to start rumors. 
You're not worried about it, Sandra. Last night we think we saw the source of this village's troubles. Yeah, we did. We saw these huge flying eyeballs. Eyeballs? Well, whatever they are, I must admit, it will hopefully stop people from being suspicious of Ira and myself. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No suspicion. Whatsoever. I think we rested for the night so everyone's HP is maxed again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we didn't even quit the skill. You got dash and strength, though Rudo can actually have one more ability. Let's get Pirate Swing up, chance to get Iron Thatch Combat. So we need to unlock these special abilities, because they're probably going to lead to some nice stuff in the long run. Wait, this isn't the town hall? Who in the world would be doing all this? Could it really be Sandra? No, it could never be her. It must be someone else. Even so, there's nothing else we can do. If we do nothing, our village may be burnt down entirely. So that's it, eh? The old people are all the same. Always frozen in their mindset. Yeah. Well, we better do something and burn... I mean... Just saying. This obviously looks like an excellent bookcase, but it also looks like the, the base of a satanic cult. What the... <laughs> I'm just saying, look at your own decor. First. What the hell? This room just looks like the place of an evil villain. I don't even know where the town hall is. Sandra's house. Fisher. Town hall. This is the town hall. Oh, it's the really big building. I didn't go in there before. A whole bunch of people just collapsed. It's only a matter of time until all of us end up in the town hall. It's only a matter of time until the town hall becomes the town cemetery. Hey, spare us a doom and gloom speech, okay? Look, we've got to do something, anything, to catch the people behind all of this. We never came in here. I guess we, there wouldn't have been very good conversation, would there? Didn't take them long to round up the town. How awful. Such a pitiful sight. We must attend to the purification immediately. We will find the bedeviled one without delay. Sniffing up the wrong leg, Priestess. We saw the darkness last night. Flying eyeballs. They should be dealt with first. Flying eyeballs, you say? How droll. But the things you saw may indeed have been servants of Alma. Yes, we must search them out. However, they are merely servants. I doubt Valma would appear in such form or fashion. Hmm? Chasing after such whimsical beasts would not solve our problem. Valma sees it upon the darkness in the heart, not the eye. Are you even listening to a thing we say, or are you too eager to purify the entire town? What the hell is wrong with you? I beg of you, High Priestess, save these villagers. Oh yes, they should be saved. You see, there is one with a corrupt soul who has brought disaster to this village. What would happen if I would permit Valmar to roam freely about the land? Could you imagine this, Elena? Yes. Well then, I shall have the cooperation of everyone in the village. I shall discover the identity of the treacherous one. Then we need not purify the entire village. Ryudo, we cannot let it proceed. You know how this will end. I know, I know, but we have to find out who or what is controlling those eyeballs. I mean, that's just sick. To make people relive their worst memories. Where do you think those eyeballs come from? I advise a deeper hunt into the fissure. Could be our quarry awaits there. Then there is where we resume our pursuit. Ah, <laughs> oh, fun. This place is so fun. <laughs> These people. I wonder if they will ever return from their dreamland. Damn straight they will. We're going to figure this out. Fun, eh? Pretty flowers. Nice and warm. Lots of fun. So all they can see are the dreams they are trapped within. But there must be a reason why they just stay asleep. Yeah, what fun. Hey, let's play, everyone. Together, come on. The more they play in their dreams, the closer they are to death. You know, you must think positive thoughts for everyone's sake. Instead of being so pessimistic, why not try to help them? Yes, that's what we're doing. Hey, Celine, look at the satanic bookcase over here. Oh, it's just no good. We've got to let Celine take care of everything. The only way she's going to take care of it is by slaughtering one of the villagers here. Is that what you want? I yes, so I've been told. We have no choice. No one else we can rely on. Excuse me, sir, but you are not a very good leader. Your villagers need to rely on you for support. But you cower visibly. Oh. 
As village chief, all I can do is let Celine take care of everything. You know, we should leave this coward to his spineless decision. Or spinless. Come, let us go. Honestly, what he's missing is the amount he's spinning. I think I might not buy weaponry more for this place at the moment. On the basis of saving up money for the next shop. Miss! Uh, hello, little Ira. Did you come to see me? Did you want to play? What do you mean? Let's go to a fun place. To a place where there's no suffering and no pain. No bad memories. Ira, should you be out? Will your mother not worry? Oh, it's fine. We're going to a happy place after all. Sure. Wait, what? That Ira. There is something a lot about her. Yeah. I wonder what it is she meant. <laughs> One way to find out. Let's follow her. We're going to Narnia. Not quite a wardrobe. Shell will have to do. We've got a lion with us. There's a witch in the house. <laughs> Supposedly. My mother had a hard time because of me. She would buy medicine and look for herbs, working from dawn until dusk. It's all my fault, but my mother's praying healed me. Ira! The bloop. Bye, kid. Where are we? I cannot believe this. I don't think people should fight. Everyone just suffers. We can learn to like each other. Why do they always blame other people? Nobody wants to be hated. I'll make it so everybody can get along. I want to help everyone. So, so Ira, you... It is a really nice place. I'm going to have everyone come to the Garden of Dreams. No one will fight. Everyone will live together peacefully. They'll forget all the bad things. Come on. Let's all go into the dream. When I was cured, I was so happy, but I was also sad because I could see things I couldn't before. My mother also wanted to get along with the villagers, but everyone lies and hates each other. They keep blaming others for bad things. Everyone suffers in their heart. I want everyone to come here and get along. This is the garden of happiness. Everyone who comes here is happy. They forget the bad memories and suffering. People all become fairies and they live happily here. Look, see how many fairies there are now? Isn't everyone happy? Stop it! Why? You were not doing anything wrong, but... But... I just want to make everyone happy. That eye! This is the eye that Granus gave me. It's how I can see everything. No, stop it! Do not make them suffer anymore! Suffer? I don't make anyone suffer. Everyone here is happy. There's no sadness here. Outside, everyone lies. So they suffer. They pretend to be nice, but they act mean. The only one I trust is Mother. Huh? Why are you doing this? Why are you, all of you coming after me? Isn't this the Eye of Granus? Well, isn't it? Aren't you the same as me, Miss Elena? No. No. Isla? Mother! Uh, wait! Something might be going down in the village. We've got to go back. Yeah, but how? <laughs> Guess we're gonna get dumped out in the forest. Lovely when the, uh, the obvious scar on the girl's head then has an eyeball start to poke out of it, isn't it? Lovely. 
Oh god, which way do I go? <laughs> Burn it all down. <laughs> Can't really go anywhere else but those two locations. I don't know anything. My daughter was miraculously cured by the power of Glanus. I prayed and prayed for her. Leave her out of this. The blessings of Glanus are not to be bestowed on the likes of you. Where is your daughter? Speak truly for the both of you are surely minions of Valmar. No, no, that cannot be. Well, well. What should we do with a mother and child who conspire with the power of darkness? Will you people side with darkness? Know that if you heed the words of the witch, you must be prepared for the, uh... Consequences. You, you devil! No, you evil witch. Just what are you trying to do? Release the curse from this village quickly. What is the grudge you bear? What is it that we have done? My daughter and I have done nothing. Release me. Ah! Mother! Leave my mother alone. Why can't we all be happy? You do mean things. Everyone suffers. That evil eye. I see we have discovered the power of Alma. Even gives us time to gear up if we want to. Which is very nice of it, to be honest. I mean, we don't need to recover or anything. We should be good. But I should probably say before engaging. Shouldn't I, really? Ah, oh, what? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, you know, it's out for the count. <laughs> Can't even use the book. <laughs> I don't see anything. I don't know anything. I don't see anything. I don't know anything. I don't want to see anything. Whatever it is, I've got nothing to do with it. Hey, what's the matter? What in the place has happened? Hey, can you hear me? Hey, you! I've got nothing to do with it. I haven't done anything! Ever since Nicholas collapsed, Sandra won't let Ira leave the house because of her. I haven't seen Ira. Sandra is holding my dearest friend captive. She's just a witch. <laughs> she deserves to be punished. What the hell are you saying, old man? You sound like a bit of self centered codger who cares nothing of Ira, only of himself. Calm down, Ryudo. Who's that? What the hell is happening here? You can no longer escape. Ira! You take care of her. What the hell are you doing? How many of you does it take to handle a single girl? Leave her be! Do not interfere with my task. Or are you too in collusion with darkness? This girl doesn't even know what's happening. Look at her! A servant of light should be extending a hand of redemption, not raising an iron fist. Don't be a fool, boy. We merely follow the will of Granus to cleanse the world of darkness. Elena? Come bring the girl to me. Please, High Priestess Selene, there must be some other way we can save her. There must be. Impossible. There is no salvation for one possessed by Valma. I cannot believe a sister of the church would try to protect one who has rejected the light and embraced the darkness. I... I... Don't listen to her. Damn it, Elena. You're better than that. There's no wrong in protecting the helpless. And if Granos has a problem with that, you can tell heaven that your god will find no protection from me. Ryudo! And what about you people? Is this child a sinner? Both mother and child have lived among you. Do you truly wish to damn them both? Mother! That noise, what? Ira, but that eye! That's her foot! You are a... A monster. You called me a monster, even my own mother! I didn't see that bit. She stopped short. Ira, please be calm. 
Your mother is just a little shocked. Am I... Am I a monster? No! Let go of me! Leave me alone! All of you, leave me alone! What has happened? You. If you had not interfered, darkness would not still plague the land. This is on your heads. Separate and search the area. Do not let the demon child escape. Ryudo, I believe. I shall not forget what you have done here today. Good time they lift, really. Hey, Elena! Snap out of it! Hey! Because this is coming. Oh, drat. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That eyeball really let me have it. What? What have I done to Ira? Huh? It is my fault. Everything is my fault. What's the matter? I thought something was wrong when she said she took Nicholas to the Garden of Dreams. It was there she discovered the ability to know what others were thinking and feeling. But not only is she able to do this, she can also see what others are doing and where they are. Even I grew afraid. I pitied Ira. I wanted to do something for her. But how could I have known Thalma was listening to my prayers? Oh, where did I go wrong? You've done no wrong. Any parent would have done the same. There was no fault in caring for your own. It is Valma who bears the onus of these events. Please. Kill her. Are you nuts? She is beyond hope already. So please kill her. Before she causes anyone more grief. Don't be a fool! We weren't protecting her before just so we could kill her now. Do what you will, but I'm not planning on giving up anytime soon. I'll find a way to save her. With you or without. I know. How about we rip that eye right out of her? Sound good? Millennia. Are you sure you can remove the eye of Valmar from her? Sure. I can. Of course. I was soul will shatter and fade. So it goes. Millennia. Damn it. There must be another way. I can plead to blame for her suffering. If there is no way to save her, then please put her out of her misery. Yeah, yeah. That sounds lovely. You are the lady. Let's just finish this up and move on. You. I don't want to hear it. Of course, what should I expect from Valma? Obviously not a concern for human life. What? This doesn't concern us, Ryudo. The one who should do something is that girl's mother, right? And she's given up. End of story. Look, I don't blame you, Ryudo. It's perfectly natural for people to want to run from reality. They just can't face life. We don't have the time to run along after you. Stop chasing after your silly nonsense. There's no other way to do this. Shut the hell up! That little girl is suffering right now, scared and alone. You ever suffered alone, Millennia? All she ever wanted was to bring a little happiness into the world. Is this what she deserves? You're her mother, but you want me to put her out of her misery? Man, we do that to our pets, not our children. She wanted everyone to be happy. What the hell is wrong with that? Look, it started. She's suffering. Damn it! We've wasted enough time. We've got to find her before Celine does. Let's try that garden. I was about to say, is it simple enough to enter that garden? I guess when you think about it. Damn it, Millennia. Have a little consideration as to how Sandra feels. Don't look at me. She's the one who gave up right from the start. Nothing I can say is going to do any good. Okay. Well, before we move on, we've actually got to equip, of course, because things get messed around at this point in time. So, yeah, if I stop flipping around in a weird way, 
She's got the highest spell attack, hasn't she? And 147. No, he doesn't. Well, actually, no, Roan does because of his spells. Uh, shall I give. Millennia the egg? We normally use then, I guess. Holy egg then, I guess. Ten defense poison resistance. What do we have on you anyway? Everything changes so often. She gets the flare dress. She gets the. She's got the burning bow on. Guardian hat then. Let's go with the poison resistance with ten defense then. Give her the holy egg, which is completely contrary to what she wants, but it does have some spells on it, so we can do we can do cold spells and earth spells. So we got two spell damage dealers. They'll so we'll probably have her cast digging at the start. No matter what. Of course, the skills are unequipped. <laughs> so what are the ones we have free? So we had life up. Toughness. And no third one at this point. We might unlock something soon enough. Poor girl. We can only end her suffering. Idiot, when you try to do something... No, let's just leave her. She says it's okay, so why not? Because it's not okay! You know, when we were with Ira, now it's locked up tight. What well, the blazes? Could Ira have sealed it shut? Okay, we can't follow her that way. See, it seems to me that if she doesn't want us in the forest, we can't go in the forest? Uh, that's what I'd have thought. I know she's got less magic due to the skill not raising magic, but it's better for us to have it on Rowan because he doesn't flip in and out. Well, I guess it works out. We could equally give the Chaos Egg to uh, Elena and then have her be good healer, good spell damage healer, but I feel like on Roan's probably better. For now. It might not to totally be true. But for now, it works for us. <laughs> Alright, back to the garden. Is it as simple as coming back here, though? If she's not here, then where else do we look? Uh-huh, she's here. Just wait a little. Come on, she's in there. Let's go, Ludo. I don't know, I don't normally jump into jamming purple portals. <laughs> but fine. Let's go make an exception. Back in the depths again. A different angle each time. Uh. Hello. Look, here it is. Here. What is this place? Where's Ida? This is the entrance into her soul. When did this get so metaphysical? She's escaped within herself, probably hugging her knees right now. Once we enter the world within her soul, we won't be able to get out until we settle this. You ready? I'll say I need more time. Whatever. We'll come back later. Not that we have a problem finding it. Trapped in the dungeon once we go in. I'm just wondering what, like, each one of these passageways actually leads to. So this leads to nowhere. So this must lead back into the dungeon that we came into the first time. Just to make sure there was no extra treasures to pick up. Looks like we got a dungeon ahead of us. Let's rock. Right on. Time for a little soul searching of our own. I 
I need to do a little searching of my own as well. Something I dropped on the ground. Meanwhile, I'm being attacked by starfish. Alien starfish. <laughs> That counted as birds up on the top, though, which is quite interesting. Um, right, let's go with Snowball Fight. Power Press. Power Press. I prefer to not use presses on me. Thank you. Seems I uh, defeated them. Oh, that was a breeze. The sound also of sound effects leveling up on sound effects. It's crazy. A silver feather is acquired. 